you know that little voice inside your head that's always telling you to have that little snack, that little fry, that little thing, I don't know, that little cheat meal over the weekend? Well, I know that little voice and I know that weekends are very highly unpredictable when it comes to weight loss or when it comes to sticking to your healthy lifestyle. So that is why in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some hacks on how to stay on track during the weekend on your weight loss journey. So what is up loves? Welcome back to Madame Bay, the place to be for everything weight loss, wellness, healing naturally, healthy recipes and all that good stuff. For those that are new here, welcome and for those that are old, welcome back. My name is Sheila and I'm super pumped to take you through this video because this week so many of my clients have been having the same problem and I decided why not share it with the rest of you guys. And by the way, if you guys want any one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. Just book a free call and then we can get you started. Other than that, let's get into the business. So I know I mean, it's really, really tricky over the weekend to stick to your diets because there are so many temptations, there are so many activities, there are so many events, get-togethers that people have that kind of sabotage their weight loss journeys. Also, even if it's not a get-together, just even if you're staying home, the fact that you're not at work because most times people are at work and it's very easy to stick to a lifestyle if you've planned in advance. When you're at work, you don't get distractions. You just kind of like stay on track. But when you're at home and you're alone and you have all these temptations around you, you kind of tend to not stay on track. That is why in this video, I want to share some tips with you. So let's get started. Tip number one, which is always my number one tip, is plan ahead. You guys, it's very, very important to plan no matter what journey you're on. If it's financial, if it's whatever. But for me, since I do the weight loss thing, I'm talking about weight loss particularly. In the previous video, I talked about planning. But in this video, we're talking about planning again in a different context. In this video, you're not planning what you're going to do on your weight loss goal. In this video, you are planning what you're going to do over the weekend. So I've talked about meal prep so many times. I have so many meal prep videos on my channel i will leave links to them in the description box or maybe above but you notice that i plan all my meals just so i don't have problems during the week it's not like you're going to cheat it's just so that it helps you not to have to think about what to eat because when you put in a place to think about what to eat let me tell you something it's really hard especially on the weekend when you get hungry and have so many temptations around you it's very easy to pick those temptations because i don't know about you but willpower over the weekend is kind of thrown out the window i don't know about you guys but okay it's not thrown out the window but it's my willpower is very questionable and so is the willpower of so many people that is why it's very important to plan so if you plan ahead plan your meals in advance over the weekend you don't have to think about it you always know what you're going to eat so just plan your weekend if you're staying in if you're going out take some snacks whatever it's just plan your meals because it's really important that brings me to tip number two which is always have healthy snacks around the house think about this scenario you've gone out shopping or maybe you've gone out you've had a long day and you've you haven't eaten anything or maybe you had breakfast before a healthy breakfast and during the day you've been good and then you come home you're hungry of course you're going to prepare your healthy meal but before preparing your healthy meal let me say it's a saturday you're out of your healthy meals like maybe your weekly planning is over so you have maybe it's your meal prep day what do you do you get hungry so you're always snacking on things like crisps you pick up crisps you pick up so many different things you could pick up that are unhealthy but if you have healthy snacks so this is hand in hand with the first tip if you have healthy snacks that you planned ahead of time you won't have to eat unhealthy you'll just pick those healthy snacks while you're preparing everything else which saves you from temptation so my first two hacks have been about preparation because pre preparation is key tip number three is avoid taste tasting i don't know about you guys but i don't crave stuff until i taste them i don't know if that happens to you but for me it is the case i'm just sharing a few things that work for me in the hopes that they will work for you i do have more tips but i'm just sharing a few that work for me of course if you're a client i will give you more personalized tips i'm just giving you something general right now i would like to share a little story with you guys because when i started my weight loss journey like my my first successful weight loss journey there is this thing I used to do, I would go out and have a salad every day, every day, every day I would have a salad, a mixed salad. For those that are in any of my programs, you know what the mixed salad looks like. I would have a mixed salad every day and then, but I would have lunch with a bunch of people. So I'll just taste a little bit of someone's steak or a little one fry. But that is okay if you have like your willpower in check but if you don't have your willpower in check don't taste you can go out and there's maybe food tasting wine tasting something tasting you taste the moment you taste that one thing you're just going to eat everything especially if you know that you're on diet 
which I don't recommend because saying that, that I think is the first thing that puts in your mind that whole restrictive mindset and once you restrict yourself, the moment you get to eat that one small thing, you're just going to eat it. Anyway, that's tip number three, do not taste taste. Do not taste taste if you do not have willpower. Tip number four is stop eating when you're full. So this is something that I need to share because sometimes your mind is the most resourceful when it comes to making up excuses. Let me give you some excuses. You go out, you eat, for example, this has happened to me too. I don't know if it has happened to you, but if it has happened to you, please let me know in the comment section. I'd like you guys to leave a comment. Oh my God, that has happened to me because this has happened to me so many times where I go out to eat and I'm full but I'm like oh my god if I throw this food away kids in Africa are starving guys kids in Africa really are starving some kids in Africa are starving but you finishing that food is not going to feed them number one and number two you finishing that food is only going to make you uncomfortable it's going to make you put on weight and it's just excuses also there is another thing I normally encourage people to do which is okay you could give the food to the homeless people on the road but then you start to think about it like okay this food is unhealthy and i'm not finishing it but if i dispose it off there are people that are starving on the street so do you want to give them that unhealthy food that is a moral question that i go through in my mind when i give away food that i think is unhealthy instead of throwing it but still at least they have food to eat you know what i mean it's better than you filling yourself up when you don't even need this food is going to make you unhealthy it's going to make you over it. it's going to slow down your metabolism you might as well give it to someone who is going to put it to good use tip number five is have a good meal before leaving the house because on weekends we normally have like stuff to do and people to meet and some of these times it could be a food plan and if it's a food plan still eat before so that when you go out there because you don't know what you're going to eat it's better that you go while you're already full and not too hungry because when you're too hungry you're bound to eat all these other unhealthy foods and there are so many temptations out there there is all these burgers pizzas not that all that stuff is bad because it's a healthy version for each and every one of those things but i'm saying when you go out there there is a healthy version if you make it yourself or if you go to like one of those healthy restaurants but if there is none you have to make sure that you eat before you leave the house so that you don't have any temptations because you guys willpower willpower we all think we have willpower okay maybe we do but it's questionable willpower and you wouldn't be here if you had very strong willpower because if you had strong willpower you'd not need these tips let's face it which brings me to my next tip because they're very similar have a snack in your bag at all times like always pack a snack you know how you go out especially people that have kids kids are always snacking like you pack food for your kid pack food for yourself because you don't even have to pack a lot of food just pack like a clementine an apple a banana something just something you can snack on just not to get tempted oh my god oh my god that is crazy just not to get tempted by things like popcorns uh crisps things that you can snack on sometimes even the healthy bars you know those healthy protein bars that are marketed they are very high in sugar and they can kind of sabotage your weight loss journey honest some of them are good but some are not so good so just pack a snack so you don't be tempted to buy snacks that are unhealthy for you along the way tip number seven is if you're the kind of person that every weekend meets up your friends to eat which i mentioned in the previous video that was 14 tips to help you lose weight aside from eating healthy and working out one of the tips was having a salad or a soup before any meal this applies to restaurants too i did mention it in that video and i'm mentioning it again when you go to a restaurant first of all please plan in advance because right now we are in a digital world all the menus to any restaurant you want to go to is online check in advance what you can eat and after checking that in advance make sure when you go there of course if you haven't eaten already before you leave the house order for a soup and a light soup as that as a starter or order for a green salad to start with and then when you order for your meal make sure the meal you order has like half a salad because you do not know what they are putting in this food you, know, you don't know what goes into that food and because you do not know what goes into it there's so many hidden fats hidden sugars in food that you eat in restaurant that's why it's so delicious so order a salad with it as opposed to fries or any other accompaniment that comes with it order veggies that will help you so much tip number eight is avoid drinking so much over the weekend i know the weekend comes you want to party you want to have fun you want to have a good time and sometimes i know it could be hard to have a good time when you're sober or when you're 100 and you, you want to like loosen up a little bit it's fine drink but just keep in mind that drinks alcohol has calories i cannot mention that enough every drink literally has calories in it and those calories kind of affect your weight loss journey first of all not only do those calories increase your calorie intake 
Second is they slow down your metabolism once you drink. Your body doesn't function properly, it's slower. So the next day you'll probably work out, but you're not working out really well. You're not 100% during your workouts. You can even be hungover the next day. And of course, when you're hungover, sometimes some people, when they get hungover, all they want to do is eat junk. So in order to avoid this, drink less, drink responsibly. I'm not saying don't drink, enjoy your drinks, just drink responsibly. Tip number nine is have a cheat meal, not a cheat day. You know how you've been good all week and then you have one cheat day or maybe two cheat days a week. You know what cheat days do to you? Number one is they slow down your metabolism because your body has been working really, 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 really well. And then you decide to put in all this rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. What happens? It's like a car. If you overload a car, what happens? It's going to move slower. It's going to be much harder to move. That's how your digestion kind of is. If you bombard it with so much stuff, it's going to slow down, which is going to slow down the weight loss process. And then another thing is that sometimes you consume a lot more in one day than you've even consumed in a week. Refer to this picture on the screen that I shared on my Instagram page because it's really important to note this. A cheat meal and a cheat day are very different. And that brings me to the final tip, which is move your cheat meal from the weekend to the weekday. If you're the kind of person that's always busy during the week, move your cheat meal to the week because it will be easier to stick to that cheat meal than the weekend because weekends have so many temptations. You're at home, you're exposed to all these foods, you're exposed to all this stuff, rather than during the week where you have to work, you have to focus, and even if it's a cheat meal, yeah, you enjoy your cheat meal and go back to work it's much easier so do you guys have any questions do you guys have any weight loss questions you want me to answer any weight loss problems you're facing if you do kindly leave them in the comment section as i actually really do enjoy answering them and i'd love to leave you with something today you can get your dream body you just have to get out of your way and stop self-sabotaging and listening to those little evil voices inside your head like i did in the previous video i know sometimes so it's very hard for some people to come back to video and you might want to take these notes another time if you guys want like a free resource i'm going to leave one in the description box down below just download it and you will have all these tips over the weekend to help you and if you haven't watched my previous video which was 14 hacks to help you lose weight aside from working out and eating healthy feel free to check that out i'm going to leave this right here and if you like this video of course don't forget to give it a thumbs up in the next video i'm going to be sharing with you tools that you need on your weight loss journey things that are going to help you stay on track during your weight loss journey and if you want to see that don't forget to subscribe subscribe ring the bell right next to it to be notified when that video comes out and as always don't forget to stay motivated be patient trust the process and spread the love i'll see you guys in the next one bye